Philly Pacers, New Jersey Sired, lined up for tonight's third race, the $200,000 2001 Miss New Jersey Final. Here they come. And the Rock, Cathedral.com from the outside. Kalista shows speed and so does Electrical Art from the inside. Impulsive nukes with some early speed on the inside. Around the first turn, Stephen Smith and Kalista. Kalista takes the lead, but Campbell wants it with the Electrical Art, paces on and gets the top. And Miller's on the move up with Cathedral.com from third. Impulsive Nukes got away in fourth as they head to the quarter mile. Pinehurst Lady is fifth. Two lengths to J.K. on Broadway getting whip urging. Then it's Clock Watcher followed by Come On Kitty at the back. 27-2 for the first quarter mile. And the two favorites lock up now down the back stretch. Here comes Cathedra.com. She will take charge. Cathedra.com won the prep last week. Leads it now down the back stretch. Electrical Art in the second spot. Kalista is third. It's Impulsive Nukes fourth heading towards the half. Pinehurst Lady is fifth. Now starting up sixth is Clock Watcher. And then on the inside is J.K. on Broadway, followed by Come On Kitty. And Pinehurst Lady was flushed out, and she is rushing up in the outer tier. They're over at the half mile. Cathedra.com controls it there in a tepid 55. So it's Cathedra.com in control. The one to knock off here. The electrical art in the second spot around the far turn. Pinehurst Lady roughs it first over. Kalista is now fourth on the inside. Second over is Clock Watcher. Clock Watcher looking to come three wide for Brennan. Behind that one is Come On Kitty appears to have some pace, then it's Impulsive Nukes and J.K. on Broadway. Over three quarters, it's Cathedra.com looking to go wire to wire here, 123 in the stretch drive, Cathedra.com now Miller out with the whip and out of the pocket, here comes Electrical Art so they lock up in a duel through the stretch here Cathedra.com, Electrical Art on the outside looking for revenge and will get it, it's Electrical Art Electrical Art drawing clear John Campbell with his sixth Miss New Jersey final, Electrical Art a perfect trip and she capitalizes Cathedra.com second, 151 Electrical Art is a three-year-old Bay Philly by Arts Place. Out of Electrical Express by Storm Damage, she's owned by Grundy, Bob McIntosh Stables, Paul Eiserbart, trained by Bob McIntosh. John Campbell has won six Miss New Jersey finals. He has dominated this race over the years, and Electrical Art capped off her stellar freshman season, winning the Three Diamonds final. A lifetime best here of 151. Post time for the fourth race, 831 in 14 minutes. Fourth race, exacta, trifecta, superfecta wagering. It's Jonna and Nikki's birthday race. Welcome to the Big M. Making our third race winner circle presentation, we welcome Miss New Jersey 2000, Jill Horner, who did a great job singing our national anthem tonight. Also presenting will be Tony Parenti, the president of the Standard Red Breeders and Owners Association here in New Jersey. Also Arthur Brown on hand, Secretary of Agriculture. In just a few moments, we'll be going down to the winner's circle. Bob Hollywood Hayden will be interviewing the winning connections. Bob McIntosh on hand tonight. Coming into the race, you drew inside of Cathedral.com. How important was that? I think that was huge. Uh, if I draw outside of her, the, the race is the exact opposite. He follows me, and I, I think she would have been tough to hold off on the stretch. So I was quite happy that we drew inside her when the sheet came out. Best quality of electrical arch. It seems like she's been able to do it each way so far. It's only her fourth start. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a very talented filly. Um, she's uh, getting more uh, race savvy. Uh, before, if you left with her, she'd be a little anxious and hard to let horse go. Now, now she drives two fingers and was relaxed in the hole, and I think that's a, the key. When you get to this level, they have to be very versatile, and she's turned to a fill, into a filly that is. Coming to the top of the stretch, Castillo.com still had a length, length and a half on you. Confident at that point? 
Yeah, she felt real strong. Uh, she wears pull-down blinds and pull-out plugs, and uh, I'd pull them out, and she was uh, up on the bit and, uh, and felt real good. I, I thought she had a good chance to win uh, when we turned for home. Okay, John Campbell, we have the winning owner here, Mr. Uh, how do you pronounce your last name there? Isabard. Isabard, an NHL player, right? Well, I was drafted by the Devils. I hope they do as well as Electrical did tonight. Okay, tell us how you got involved with Electrical Art. Uh, she's a homebred. Uh, Bob and I bought uh, her mother at, I think, the Harrisburg sale. And, uh, you know, this is the first homebred that's really shined, and uh, well, I'm very proud of her. How long have you been in the business? I got involved when I was with the Red Wings in uh, 89, I believe it was. I bought my first horse, and from there, I've, I think I've got her up to about 26 now. Four, 422000 last year as a two-year-old. Where'd she win all that money? Yeah, she, well, she won the three diamonds. Uh, that was her biggest race, So, but she came out of that year real fresh, and uh, she seems to I haven't missed a beat this year. You talk to some of your buddies, uh, some more NHL buddies into getting involved in harness racing, anything? Well, we got uh, a horse named after Chris Pronger, Captain Chris, down in the stable, so hopefully he'll get on board this summer when he gets more time. Okay, congratulations, Paul Eisenbach. Congratulations winning here at the New Miss New Jersey $200,000 purse. Uh, Mr. McIntosh, see if we can get Bob McIntosh here. Uh, Bob McIntosh? Nine years ago, you sent out so fresh here in the Miss New Jersey uh, off a couple of starts. Uh, any concern with the just three starts for Electrical Art? Uh, not really. I thought that uh, she was coming to the race great. Last week, she was uh, closing hard at the wire, and uh, John's last statement to me before I left went home last night, he said she couldn't be any better going into the big race, so uh, that was good enough. When he says something like that to me, I listen. Everything on schedule for her last year, big season coming back this year. Any mishaps? No, she had a problem-free winter, actually, and I just kept jogging a little bit all winter long and uh, lightly trained her and never really let her rate down. And she ended the year really strong last year, and uh, she just had a great winter with no sickness, no lameness. And When do we see her again here? No, she'll be this Friday night, and uh, she'll stay here for the Jersey Sires and Miss Tosha Lee to Airport Hop. Okay, Bob McIntosh, no stranger to the winter circle either in the Miss New Jersey, won in 1992. Congratulations on all the connections of Electrical Art.